We are back with Jack Hanna, the director emeritus of the Columbus Zoo. He has brought some very special guests, some of which you can hear. Yeah. Um, and Jack, needless to say, doesn't exactly warm my heart to see a big white bandage on your <laughs> finger. It is a terrible 40 years working with animals all my life, and a cactus got me. It was a cactus, yeah. not an animal. I almost lost my fingers here tonight. Oh my god. Operate on it. And it's a long story. Oh jeez. Everything's good. We better get to it. So we, we got a zoo going on in here. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about the um, the first guy. I'm assuming we're going to start right, right here. This is a serval cat. Everybody gets a serval cat from Africa. Serval? Yeah, serval. It's one of the only cats, the only cat in the world that can get in the grass like this and go up like this, 10 to 12 feet in the air, and grab a bird's flying. Wow. Wow. His, his back leg, front legs are different lengths. The animal also is pretty. Yeah, uh, goes back. <laughs> Look at that video. Somebody incredible. got a chicken in here or what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> so we, we know that a lot of animals, a lot of cats like this, they, they hunt by scent. Right. But he hunts mostly by sight, yes, right? A lot of times sight and sounds, because a lot of times they'll follow herds of elephant and animals. And this, <gasps> this animal, 60% of his back can be insects. So he follows with his hearing underground when the elephants tear up the earth. Oh. Yep. All right, so can, let's get you that, that sound that we heard. It, yeah. it doesn't sound like a chicken to me. No, this animal, everyone, what you're seeing here, everyone look at it closely. This is, a, this is oh probably... Oh, my gosh. Today, it's probably the most prehistoric bird in the world. It this looks animal's from South America, everyone. It's Beautiful. called a Syrianama. I guarantee you, this goes back toward the dinosaur era. Watch what he does. When he gets up to eat, he takes a lizard or a snake, he has to find a rock. Watch what he has to do. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> No, wait, wait, all your viewers, wait a minute. It's a rubber lizard. It's a rubber lizard. Okay, it's not yes, a real that one. is just a I mean, toy. This, this <laughs> bird, like, like this bird was watching the WWE. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> It's funny. It's, it's amazing. It's very beautiful. But that's what he does. At. In the wild, this is what he does. He finds a lizard or a snake. He has to find a rock, everybody. Oh, stop oh. it. But, but how do they communicate? That we heard, is that how they get you, you? You're lucky. because very, They don't sound like bird, per right, se. Very rarely so they do that. You're show off this one. Very rarely they'll do that. You're very lucky everybody heard that. All right. Um, they're, they're giving me a wrap because they want us to do this mystery box, which is, <laughs> I was hoping to run out of time. But, um, <laughs> so here's a box that has allegedly has a non-biting or non-gross animal in it. But you got to be careful. The, oh, not, God. I, I don't mean careful. No, no, I don't mean that. No. What you have to do, everyone, is this animal, he does kind of go into a ball when you touch it or, you know, whatever it is. It's not going to bite me. And they have a baby in four months, they have, in four months to have a baby. But no, the, pre, the relative, the relative of this animal, the dinosaur era, weighed 4,000 pounds. Oh, I'm not going to put my hand in that box. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I'm, I'll do no, it. This is a, this I'll is take a, one for the uh, team. There you go. Come on, Lara. Okay. Oh, God. Is my it's my hand? That's my hand and there where's the Oh! oh God. <laughs> I'm scared of you too. Can we see what it is? What is the reveal? We have to what do we see have? What, it is. what do we have, Jack? Oh, it's just a little oh. baby. Oh, oh it's a little baby armadillo. Oh. 